Hey guys, it's Yami, and today we're watching gacha videos based on Japanese urban legends. Leave a like if you enjoy a good spooky story once in a while, and without further ado, let's get into the first one, which is called Daruma-san. All right, we have a group of friends chilling and hanging out. This looks like a good time. Maybe not, because Lemmy is saying, I'm so bored. Oh no, it's never good when you hang out with your friends and you're bored. I thought we were gonna do something fun. Okay, well, what are we gonna do? We can ask my maid. Ocean. Yes, Miss Lemmy. Do you know a game that we can play? Also, can you imagine just having a maid? That would be amazing. That was a terrible pun. I should probably just not make puns anymore. <laughs> That was the worst pun I think I've ever said in my life. Oh dear, let's move past that, shall we? Do you know a game we can play? Actually, there's a game that's very popular right now. Oh, Ocean is down with the kids. It's a game called Daruma-san. I hear it's a spooky game. If you're brave enough, you all should play. Oh, that. I always wanted to play. I'm searching it up right now. Warning, play at your own risk. This game contains ghost and possession. Only play if you know you'll win. Why is the maid suggesting that a bunch of kids play a game where they're gonna get possessed? I don't think she should be around kids, honestly. Keep her away from the children. Well, do you guys still wanna play? Why wouldn't we? It's obviously just there to scare us. And plus, everyone at school played it and said it was fine. All right. We're playing it then. Sounds like a death wish, but okay. What's the first thing that we need to do? Okay, first, someone needs to take off their clothes and get in the bathroom. This sounds like a terrible idea, what the heck? Also, if I was hanging out with my friends, I don't think I'd wanna do that. Like, that's weird, right? Who wants to do that? Nobody wants to do that, it's weird. Ugh, fine. Wait, what, he has agreed to do this? So do they all stand outside of the bathroom? Um, privacy please. Oh, he <laughs> sorry. They're all covering their eyes. Okay, I'm done. This is so weird, what the heck? Next, go into the bath and turn off the lights. This already sounds terrifying. Then repeat Daruma-san three times. Why with urban legends and ghost stories, do you always have to say their name like three times? That's how you summon them. Let's just get this over with. Wait, Gasta, before you go, here's a rule that you must follow. Do not open your eyes, they must remain shut. And put an image of a woman in the bath with you in your head. Why? This is so strange. How is that gonna make a ghost appear? All right, I'll make sure. And off he goes to get into the bath with a ghost in the dark. This is a very nice bathroom though. All right, he's in the bath now. Time to start. The lights have been turned off. Okay, let's read the rules. Do not open your eyes when a ghost first appears. How are you meant to know that they've appeared then if you can't see them? So many questions. While in the bathtub, you may feel movements behind you. Do not open your eyes. I already told Gasta that, so we should be in the clear. All right, here we go, we're gonna meet a ghost. Wait, why is the maid in the bathroom? Daruma-san, Daruma-san. What is happening? Why does the maid look like that though? What is she doing? What the heck? Why the heck did you do that? Hey, we heard you yelling, what's wrong? Ocean smacked me with her broom out of nowhere. Not only that, I was in the middle of saying Daruma-san. Ocean, that's really dangerous. You shouldn't have done that. I'm really sorry, Miss Lemmy. I'll clean up the mess I made. Why has she smashed a vinyl on the floor and also a load of other things? What was she doing? Why is she in the bathroom? I'm so confused, this maid is weird. All right, we're gonna be outside waiting. She is so sauce. She looks so evil. Poor kid is probably traumatized. Well, hey, Gaster. Whoa, what are you? She's so strange. What? I hate her. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the maid is evil. Once the game starts, do not re-enter the bathroom or else you'll die. We shouldn't go in the bathroom again. Oh, the maid's here. Wait, what if she's possessed? Because earlier it said that the ghost can come and possess you. So maybe the maid isn't intentionally evil, she's just possessed by an evil ghost and now she wants to kill everyone. Oh dear, this is not good. The game should start soon. Get ready, girls. Miss Lemmy, hurry! Mr. Gaster is injured, help! What? We gotta go check it out! Oh, the girls have no idea what happened to him. Hold on, Barbara. The rules say we can't go back into the bathroom. You're choosing that game over our friend? I don't care, I'm checking up on Gaster. This is a bad idea, she shouldn't go in there. Girl is risking her life. 
Gaster! Oh my gosh, what happened? What is happening to her? Did you see that? I'm going to check it out. Whoa, look at the maid in the background. Her eyes are so red and she has the shiftiest smile ever. Oh dear, you should not go in that bathroom, girl. This is a terrible idea. Oh dear. Well, that's another friend who's been attacked by the ghost. What the? Hey, Ocean, wait up. You haven't been acting like yourself. The game has started. And in this game, there is no winner. It's either you die playing or you die by possession. Oh wait, does that mean Ocean's gonna die then? Cause she's been possessed. Oh my gosh, she's so creepy. What the heck? I love this art style though. It really adds to the creepiness. Oh, she's gonna grab us. Oh my gosh, no. Oh my goodness. Look, it's the spirit that possessed her. Betrayal. It's either you die playing or you die by possession. Wait a second, I have a feeling maybe now she's possessed. Look at that smile, that's not screaming innocent to me. Are you brave enough to play? The only one who's okay is this girl. <laughs> Miss Lemmy here is chilling, while the rest of her friends and her maid have been taken out by a ghost. Okay, okay, how to end this game? Make sure to look over your shoulder from time to time. This is to make sure she isn't too close to you. Well, girl, I think that's too late because look who's behind you. Oh my goodness, it's the spirit. She's gonna get you. Also, a shout out to the person who made this gacha because this art is amazing. What? I love it. Ah! Ah! I thought I felt someone behind me. That's because you did. There was a ghost. Hurry up and tell me how to end this game. I'm back, Lemmy. Oh, Winter, I'm so glad you're back. You have no idea how scared I... Ah, uh, yeah, girl, your friend is possessed. Oh, dear. Winter, why are you... Didn't you know? This game has no winners. Oh, my goodness, look who's here. It's the ghost. This isn't gonna end well, is it? Wait a second. I think she just got possessed. It's either you die playing or you die by possession. Are you brave enough to play? Oh no, it's officially over for all of the girls. Okay, I think what this story has taught us today is that we shouldn't repeat a ghost name three times in the bathroom. You're just basically asking for trouble at that point. On to the next one. This one is called the Red Room Curse. But what does it mean? Do you believe? That your phone could be watching you. That it's listening to everything you're saying. Honestly, I believe that because the amount of times I'm convinced that TikTok is listening to me is unreal. I'll be talking to my friend about something and then the next thing I know it's on my For You page. Weird. That's how everything started, but no one knows how it ended because no one lives long enough to tell how it ends. Ooh. That's very suspicious and creepy. Okay, so we have Heaven, Yuki, and Marvin. Glad to hear he isn't being a pain to you anymore. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Also, have you guys seen Jeff? Marvin, have you seen Jeff? Maybe he's sick. No, I think he's right there. What the heck was that for? It's just a little greeting, relax. Hey ladies. Excuse me for a little bit. What, let me go. Jeff, this isn't funny. Marvin and I need to talk. Oh, that's true friendship, isn't it? When you just grab your friend and leave with them. Then they don't have a choice in it. Why are you so late anyways? And don't ever do that to me again. Something cool just happened to me, but it's supposed to be a secret. So you gotta promise me not to tell. I found it while searching around on Google. If you search it on Google, a red screen pops up and- Boo! Jeff, don't do that. Jeff has the jump scare. If you don't believe me, just search it up yourself. Just a warning, don't get too curious. But what is it? I wanna know. Oh, hey Marvin. Oh, hey Yukins. Sorry, I've just been feeling a bit uneasy. Maybe Jeff is just getting into my head. Ah, uh, sorry, I spaced out. It's okay Marvin, please get some rest soon. Oh, she's so sweet. Hey Jeff, I was thinking, can you tell me how to get the red screen pop up? Why should I? You don't even believe in it. I do, I do, I was just thinking about it all day. That's the spirit. It's bad that you're curious though, but I'll show you everything that you need to enter the red room. Don't get so into it though. Hold on, you better let us join in. Yeah, we wanna get involved in this red room. Oh, you're curious too. It happened to me so suddenly while searching around. 
Oh no, it's never good when you get into a big rabbit hole late at night on your PC. You end up clicking on website and website and website and then suddenly before you know it, you're on a cursed red screen. It was so cool. How did you get it to pop up though? That, I'm actually not sure. Just search around the word red room and it'll pop up. But like I said, don't be too curious. Sounds like fun, lol. Maybe I'll give it a try. Well, we'll see you two later. All right, see ya. Oh no, I have a bad feeling about this red room. These girls don't know what's about to happen to them. I better get going too. Oh, it's you kins again. I'm sorry, I didn't expect anyone around the corner. Sorry about that. Are you okay? It's all right, Marvin. I didn't expect anyone either. I gotta go. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so Marvin is back at home. Is he gonna search up for the red room? Oh, he is, he's on his PC. Do I just search up red room? Oh no, he's on Google. This isn't good. He's typing it in. Red room. Is it gonna work though? Ooh, that's a creepy music video, but I don't think that's it. All right. Doesn't appear to be anything as of yet. Seems like it's pretty safe. Huh? Urban legend? Do you like the red room? What kind of question is this? Oh my gosh, he found it! Hee <laughs> hee. Do you like the red room? Wait, who's that behind him? What was that? That was strange. Oh my goodness, there's a pair of eyes! And a smile! That is the creepiest gacha face I think I've ever seen in my life. I wonder if the girls searched it up last night. Jeff, Yuki, what's wrong? Heaven has never been late to school. Oh no, do you think she searched up the red room? She left our call yesterday suddenly too. Maybe she's just sick today. Maybe she's been on the internet. Um, is everything all right? Apparently, Heaven is missing. Yuki is worried since she left their call suddenly yesterday. Instead of just talking, how about we go check up on her? I mean, that that's a clever idea. Great idea, Jeff. Okay, come on, let's go. Yuki, come with us. Okay. And the squad set off to find their friend. Heaven, are you in there? Maybe she went on a different route to school. Or maybe she's still sleeping. We should go back. We're gonna be late. Oh, he's breaking in. He's literally knocked the door down. He's not leaving till he's found his friend. Looks like we can go in now. I love how shocked they all are behind him. Like, did you really just knock their door down? Hurry up. Let's go check up on her. Heaven, are you sleeping? Heaven, wake up. Oh my gosh, what have they seen? Oh, that's not good. What the? I don't like this scene. I wonder what happened. Did she get dragged into the computer? It's the red screen pop up. Did she search it that much? Well, it's kind of his fault that everybody's into this anyway. He got them all into searching it and now he's acting shocked that somebody got obsessed the legend it's true oh my goodness this is not good heaven's gone missing and i feel like it's just gonna get worse yuki hey jeff look at this why is heaven's name here what happened to heaven oh dear wait what's behind her hehe <laughs> do you like the red room oh no it's the spirit from the red room and she's right behind yuki she turned around and the spirit disappeared i'm just hearing things oh dear what happened to her oh i think she's been searching up the red room too she's on the deep web it's literally his fault that everybody's so into it though jeff we should get going oh no jeff has gone too far now her name is on the list Oh my goodness, everybody's obsessed with this list and the red room and it is not gonna end well. I love how he's just running away. That would literally be me. Yukins, what's wrong Marvin? We need to go now. Hurry! Marvin, what's going on? Yukins, tell me, have you ever heard of the red room? What is the red room? <sighs> All right, follow me. No, please don't tell me he's gonna get her into it as well. Hopefully not. He's gonna show her, this is terrible. All right. Let me just search it up. Okay, so here it is. No, don't be getting more people into this. Marvin, what's wrong? My, my name is on this. Oh dear, his name has now been added to the list. And that's what happens if you search it up too many times. Oh my gosh. It's the creepy ghost again. Do you like the red room? Oh my gosh. Where did Yukins go? They're being dragged into the red room. <laughs> And all that's left is a PC. Wait, do we get to see where they are? Oh look, everybody else is here. Don't you know? Curiosity killed the cat. Nice job. Jeff, Yukins, Yuki, hey, let them go. Oh dear, I do believe this is the end of that friendship group. Your name is on the list. <laughs> 
and that's where that story ended. That was so creepy. Lesson learned to never search up the red room. This next urban legend is all about a yandere, which is basically a girl who's obsessed with a guy so much so that she won't let anybody get in her way. I found him. I found him. I must not lose him. I must I must protect him. I must make him mine. Say, Eri, are you having a good morning? Good now that I'm talking to you. Oh, that's so sweet. Everybody's so sweet except this girl in the middle who has literal skulls in her eyes. That's giving cursed. Ha ha, look at those two lovebirds. Come on, let's go. Heh, <laughs> Eri, no need to be shy. Selma, you too. Hey, Eri, it's so good to see you again. I really did miss you. Ah, thanks, Yukina. I love you. You and Yukina are really close, huh? I mean, look at how attached she is to you. I agree. I think she likes you a bit too much. Yukina and I are just friends. Don't worry, I don't like her like that. Well, she definitely likes him like that. She's a yandere after all. I think she might have a crush on him and she's about to ask him out. So what is it, Selma? I, I just want to tell you that I, I really, really like you. Oh my gosh. Look who's just appeared out of nowhere and interrupted this beautiful moment. Ha ha, Eri, I got you. Okay, Yukina, you got me. Can you get off of me now? How awkward. <laughs> Literally just killed the vibe. Yukina, don't do that again. I'm sorry, Eri. I just love you so much. This is just so awkward. Oh my. She is giving the death stare. Yikes. Oh dear. I think somebody is a little bit jealous. I know you do, Yukina. Selma, I'm gonna go. Sorry we didn't get to talk too much. We'll talk again later. Well, that was awkward. And now it's just the two of them on the rooftop. Oh dear. My, my, aren't you such a cutie? Please tell me what you were doing up here with Eri. Were you planning to ask him out? Oh, she is getting a little bit too close. She's literally backing this poor girl up. Tell me, do you like him? If you ever try to take him as yours again. I do not like that girl, she's creepy. This awkward moment has been thankfully interrupted. Yukina, Selma, what are you two doing? Oh, I'm just talking to your friend here. Yeah, and terrifying her. Marie! Hey, I think I recognize you now. I was on Instagram the other day, and I saw your Instagram and you have over 75k followers. Ooh, this girl an influencer! Ah, <laughs> that's so nice of you to look me up. I'm a go now. Have a nice day. It's okay, Selma. Don't worry. Let's just go see Eri, and he'll make you feel happy again. Oh no, she did not like that. The Yandere overheard everything. She's just so creepy. Look at her waiting. Oh, Marie, hello. Let's walk home together. Uh, sure. I would not trust this girl. Not one bit. Say, you have a crush on Eri, don't you? You do, don't you? Wait, Yukina, what are you? How cute that she's running away from me. Looks like she wants to play a little game of tag. This girl, she's crazy. Crazy in love, but also just, just crazy in general. Where are you, Marie? The thing is, I don't even think Marie likes him that way. And yet she's being targeted. Where are you? Hiding behind the trash can. Oh, I think she's been spotted. Yep, she has. And I think we all know what happened there. He's mine and mine only. Don't ever get in the way. Eri! Eri, are you going home? Can we walk home together? Sure, why not? Yay! Let's go then. Isn't this fun? Yukina? Why is your hand so cold? She has murderously cold hands. Oh, I just washed my hands. Would you like anything? No, it's all right. Say, Eri, do you like anyone? Huh? Well, I, I mean, who doesn't? And I think Marie is pretty cute. Oh no, he shouldn't have said that. Huh, so you don't love me? I love you as a friend. We've known each other for a while. Oh no, she does not look impressed with that answer. Hey, wait! No, that's it, she's annoyed now. Yukina, where are you going? Yukina, did I do something wrong? I'm sorry. Eri, you, uh, I just love you so much. I love you so much, so much that. I think I know what happened here and it's not good. Police, freeze. Hey babe, 
Do you want some coffee? Or oh, tea is okay too. Coffee is all right. Breaking news, a crime has just happened. One person has been reported deceased. What a shocking thing to watch on TV. The suspect has now been arrested. Hey, isn't that Eri? Hello, Selma? Check the news now. I can't believe it. Dude, that girl is such a cutie. I know, right? I'm so into Yandere girls. She's a real life anime girl. That is not okay. Like, we should not be into people who are that obsessed. That guy doesn't realize that he had such a top tier waifu. What? These guys are crazy. Haha, <laughs> let's set her free from jail. How about no? What the actual heck? I can't believe what we heard. I know, right? Some people are actually supporting her. Hey guys, look at the comments on her Instagram. It's really shocking. Marry me, I love you so much. Oh my gosh, I love you so much and bite me. Okay, what the heck? People are actually loving this psychopath. Apparently people like her because she's a real life Yandere. The anime world really likes to show off girl Yanderes. So when a cute looking girl kills someone for love, some people see her as a waifu. I love you Kina so much, dude. Let's save up money to free her from jail. What? Those guys are crazy and look, She's in jail knowing that there's people out there who love her, even though she's a psycho killer. Well, that was terrifying. On to the next one, which is called Hachisaku Sama. Come on, big brother, let's play. There's still light, let's play. Sage, mom said that we have to go before the sun has gone. We can play tomorrow. Don't want it, tomorrow is too long. Well, too bad. Let's go before mom gets mad. You don't want mom to yell at you, remember? Oh, but she wants to stay out and play. Wait, where is she going? She's on her own. Hey mom, Yuki, welcome home. Where's Sage? Sage? She didn't want to come home. What? Go back and get her. Okay, fine. It wasn't even my fault though. Where is she going? And why is there a floating hat? That's weird. What's that sound? Oh, this is really creepy. Oh, there's a very creepy sound and the hat is moving. Wait, it's not just a hat. There's a person or maybe a creature. What the heck? Sage! What are you doing here? Sage! Sage has seen some things. Let's go home. Jeez, what happened to you? And this is why you shouldn't stay out when it's dark. Mom, we're back. Yuki, Sage, welcome home. Well, that didn't take too long to find her. I'm glad you two are safe. Sage is acting a bit weird though. Oh my gosh, what? Why did all of their faces change? That was terrifying. Oh my goodness, this poor girl. She's going through it. Sage, what's wrong? Mom? Who's that outside of the window? Wait, who is that? Oh my goodness, that is so creepy. It's the woman with the hat. She's just watching. Oh no! I really don't like that. What is she doing? What does she want? Can anybody else see it? Is she up to the window? We gotta call dad now. I think Sage saw Hachisaku-sama. Hurry! We need to call dad and tell me! Yuki, watch Sage! Make sure she doesn't go anywhere. All right, he's ringing dad. Dad, hello, it's an emergency. Look at dad, he's like out in a temple with a bamboo stick. He's gonna get down to business and get rid of the spirit. I see, so Sage has seen Hachisaku-sama. This is bad. I want you to make sure that you get some Ofuda. Take her to an empty room, then cover Ofuda on the door. Now, just wait until tomorrow. Remember, do not open the door. Don't let Yuki open it either. Get out of that place as soon as 6am. You and your family need to go. It's best to get out of there fast. Oh my gosh, now she's just trapped in this room. I think she has to wait for the spirit to like leave her alone. Mom, Dad, let me out. Big brother, please. Let me out. Sage? No, you can't let her out. She needs to stay in there. Yuki! Jeez, dad, you scared me. Do not open the door. You can go play with Sage tomorrow. Big brother! That must be so hard though, to hear your sister crying for you to let her out the room, but you can't. Good night, son. Aw, oh, he's fast asleep. I wonder how his sister's getting on. Big brother! Oh, he's woken up. Big brother! Sage? This is not good. I hope he doesn't let her out. Sage? No, it's a spirit. She's in the house. I think she's found a new target. Okay, he's gone to the door. Open the door. Is he actually gonna? He is. It's like he was mind controlled. Sage? Are you okay? 
Oh dear. She got into the room and now she's got a hold of his sister. This is why their dad said don't open the door. You're next. Oh dear. Well, his parents are gonna be super mad at him for doing that, but I guess he kind of was mind controlled by the spirit, so it's not entirely his fault. Yikes, this is not good. Yuki, what happened? Why are you in here? Yuki, darling, where is Sage? Sage has, uh, yeah, she's, she's gone with the spirit lady. Darn it, why did this happen? We're leaving now, go get your things. Are you okay, sweetie? He does not look good. Oh my gosh, now he can hear her. He's definitely the next target. Now he needs to be trapped in a room with a load of a fooder. You're next. Oh my gosh, that was terrifying. For our last Japanese urban of the day, we have a story called Hikiko-chan. Noah, pick, truth or dare? Dare, I guess. I dare you to kiss Camilla. Oh, that's easy. Come here, Camilla. No, please, I have a girlfriend. I have a boyfriend too. So much drama. I'm sorry I'm late. Where were you? Oh, I was helping someone. It felt nice to help someone in need. You didn't help that black hair girl though, right? The girl that Sarah and Luke tease? I did. Why? I don't like her, she's weird. Oh, come on, don't be like Sarah and Luke. Oh no, this poor girl. She has no friends. I guess Sarah and Luke don't like how she is. Don't worry, Boku. We haven't seen her in a few days. I hope she's okay. Huh? Someone's over there. Oh, okay. It's a girl with black hair dragging something? That was weird. He's taking a photo of it. Oh my gosh. I don't think he's gonna like what he's seen. He got a photo of her and now he's running away. Please, I saw a girl dragging two bodies. Please, I have proof too. Son, don't give us lies. What? What lies? You said you had proof. Where is it? Wait, did the photo not actually take? It's right here. What do you mean? Son, there isn't any proof. Go home. Kids these days. Cherry, look at this picture. It's just a photo of the woods and nobody's there. Okay, you're just showing me a picture of a forest. What? You don't see it too. There's a girl in this picture who was next to two dead bodies. He just sounds crazy now, doesn't he? Camilla, you aren't scaring me, stop. You should go home. I think you're a bit crazy right now. I'm not going crazy. Nobody believes him. Stupid cops and friends. I'm not going crazy. Why can't they see it? Oh my goodness. That is so creepy. The glowing eyes and everything. Oh my gosh. I'm just seeing things. I didn't take a picture of it looking at me. Okay, so now he thinks he's going crazy because that's not the photo he originally took. The photo keeps changing. I can't believe we have to do cleanup duties. This is supposed to be Cherry and Camilla's job. Oh, shut up. The faster we get this done, the faster we go home. So stop whining and... Do you see that? Wait, what is that? I'm gonna go check it out. Um, I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh my gosh, it's the spirit. It's right behind her. Ah, that's so creepy. Wait, it looks just like that girl from school. Let's get out of here. What if the spirit is the girl from school? I guess I'm just seeing things. Sorry, Noah, let's go. Well, your friend has disappeared now. Noah? Noah? Wait, what a hand has just covered their mouth? Shush, be quiet. Look over there. Wait, what is it? Oh my goodness, it's the spirit. Is that? It's the evil spirit, looking creepy as ever. Oh shoot, it saw us. And now it's chasing them. Well, that is terrifying. I think it caught up to them. This is not good. Oh wait, this is a flashback memory. He, they picked up the book for them. Probably the only time they've been shown kindness. I actually don't think the spirit is gonna hurt them. Nope, she's moving right on by. She actually left them alone. Okay, back to cleanup duties. And look who's here again, it's the spirit. For some reason, she didn't attack me. Why does she look so familiar? Maybe because he knows who it is really. And that's why we should always be kind to people. In case they turn into evil spirits who want revenge. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see another one from me, you can click on one of these and I'll see you over there.